What's up, kittens? Good morning. This morning, me, Marsha, and James, we have woken up in Ohio. And I really did not vlog too much last night because honestly, when we got in, I had like 90 minutes to get dressed, unpack, feed the cats, get them set up, and then zip off to um, Cleveland. I'm staying outside of Cleveland about 20 minutes to go to the symphony. And then after the symphony, I ended up going to dinner. And it was, I'm just like, I'm still having like such high vibrations after yesterday's experience. It was just really lovely. So I am going to go downstairs. I really enjoy staying in hotels when I am with James and Marsha, mainly because they have um, the bell carts. So I'm typically able to make one trip Unless I'm like staying in Airbnb, sometimes it can take up to five time, like five in and outs to get everything. So I'm about to go downstairs to get the bell cart to just load everything up. Um, I checked the weather. Uh, we're headed to, we're going to stop. I think it's Fort Worth, maybe, I'm not really sure. Fort Worth, um, Indiana. I uh, found a coffee shop that I want to stop at. And then we are driving. We were invited to stay in Chicago. So we're actually going to be driving there today. Um, I'm super jazzed because we're going to be going back one hour, which means we get one hour. And then, um, once we get settled in, I'm going to head to the city and today's going to be my exploring day because I have a very, um, dense schedule for work tomorrow and Tuesday, which is when we'll be in there, I'll be staying in Chicago. So I'm really trying to do the best that I could do, uh, today of seeing uh, some of my favorite places and some new places that I found. Um, I also had like a really bad Charlie horse last night. So I'm like ridiculously over caffeinated and under hydrated. So today I'm really going to try my best to stick with drinking water. Um, I'm going to stop at that one coffee shop a few hours outside of where we are now towards Chicago and really just keep stretching. I woke up and I with this excruciating pain in my calf muscle. And I was like, really? This is so uncomfortable. And I just remembered to like breathe through it because for me, there, there's a few things in this world that I've experienced that is as uncomfortable as my muscle cramping like that in my calf. So in any case, um, I'm gonna do my best to cruise a lot, some highway driving. And I just kind of want to also take like a quick little room tour. I really, really, really like, uh, this is a, an extended stay. And I really like how it's set up. I felt like there was a lot of space for uh, me and Marsha and James, which sounds silly because, you know, they're cats and they are in kennels. However, sometimes when, depending on wherever we may be staying, sometimes we're literally in one room and we're just like on top of each other. And I love James and Marsha very much. And they also like to um, talk a lot. And that's what they were doing a lot last night, uh, chatting about. And I kind of was just like, I need a break. I need some space. We've been spending a lot of time together. And I really do treat them like they're my kids. So I just want to, you know, say that sometimes I just need to take a break and not be like concerned. <laughs> At least 2,000 miles of driving, I experienced a bit of a rock hitting the window yesterday. So I've just come here to AutoZone to get a window windshield repair kit. So I have never done this before. However, I was feeling, and I am very empowered, especially like growing up around a family who works on cars and knows mechanical things about the cars in general. So I was feeling really empowered. I popped over to AutoZone and I got a repair kit. I did it. I watched a YouTube video and we'll see how this goes. I'm hoping that I'll at least be able to have stopped the crack from going in front of my vision so it's not too big of a deal when driving. And when I arrive at my next location, I'm gonna 
get a new windshield. So I feel pretty good about my experience of trying to do the best that I could do and also just giving myself the opportunity to even try to fix this on my own temporarily until I'm able to get the windshield replaced. So now I'm in the town where I was driving to, which is a halfway point uh, from, uh, shoot, I forgot where I just was, from Ohio to Chicago. So there was a coffee shop that I'm gonna pop into and we'll see how this windshield works. I'm just really manifesting that what I've done will be good enough until it can be replaced. And yeah, just really excited that I even tried this. James Baldwin has been, this is the first time in a very, very, very long time that James Baldwin has meowed for the entire time that I've been driving this car. Yesterday I drove probably about 10, nine, ish 10 ish hours he meowed for all of it except for a, a total of one hour and no that was not one solid hour it was uh one minute here two minutes there um and this morning there he is hi say hi james you want to say hi james we have marcia and then we have james the experience between the two of them is like night and day. Nevertheless, I love them both for all that they are and I'm ready to get back on the road because I'm excited to get to Chicago and to explore. because I've just gotten into Portillo's in Chicago to get a hot dog and I'm trying to figure out um, why the uh, relish looks inedible like it actually looks like candy it's even kind of like it looks blue I'm not really sure I'm still gonna eat it because I'm curious to know why the relish tastes like blue I mean looks blue ish green almost like kelp I don't know I'm gonna show a picture because initial reaction body wise was I was concerned about the color and the health benefits of this particular item on my hot dog I've been waiting all day to eat this I drove 10 hours because of traffic it's okay we made it safely that was the important part so I could have this hot dog here we go 